Okay, so here's a better look at the tool. Sorry, I'm laying underneath this thing and I don't have a very good tripod. Uh, this hoop goes around your cross member up here. Just comes right down, meets with your block. You put these nuts on, tighten it all the way up, and then this goes in on the torsion bar key. And there's a little groove for it. I'll show you. This groove right here, that's where this point of the tool goes. So that wheel, you start screwing this in, that goes ahead and puts tension on it and allows you to unscrew this one, which is your torsion bar set screw. Now, I painted neon green on there so I can kind of, so it'll go on the threads and I can somewhat get it close in the beginning when I put the new key back in. Now this is a, called a three inch leveling kit. You can get up to three inches with it depending on how you adjust it. So I like to just get these and get it close, you know, sp spray paint it here and kind of keep it close to where it used to be. And then you can adjust from there once it sits on the ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear into this one too and uh, we'll get it done. All right, let's get this one started now. Find where I threw all my stuff. Okay, roll this up over top, go across your cross member, hangs down like a horseshoe, bring the block up, extremely simple, run these nuts up, so I run this block up as far as it'll let me. And it's going to pivot back and forth when you're tightening this, by the way. But it works fine. Like I said, I've already been on the side. And this is a really good tool. So this hoop is like a safety in case that torsion key comes apart. It's not going to let it fling off. So that's really nice. It's a really nice device. And it came with the kit. And I'll get you a price on what I paid for it. All right. This is a three-quarter inch here. Just make sure you're in this groove that I showed you earlier right there. Make sure you're in that. When you're in that, start cranking on it and get some tension off of it. Now when this rattles loose like so, you know that all your tension's on your new tool. You gotta run this up high enough to get this set block out. Might take you a few tries to get it just right. Now everything is on this here. So what we're gonna do is just lower this down take it off and then we'll slide the new key in. Getting this torsion bar to slide forward is the biggest pain. I'll show you that too. Just be really careful. I like to stand back away just in case. Go down really slow with it. Now, spin this freely. You know you're good. All the weight's off. Now it's time to get our torsion bar and slide it out. Okay, so look up here. On the bottom A arm, this is the front of your torsion bar. Sorry, this focus is horrible on this camera. But this is the front of your torsion bar. Now you see back there, there's the clamp. That's where we were working. 
You just gotta get this to slide forward so you can pull that key out, put the new key in, and then reverse it. You just go right back in with it, tighten everything up. So I put some WD-40 up here because everything is pretty well seized up. It's been several years since this thing's been taken apart. You know, it's a 98 model, so probably never been taken apart. But anyway, we're gonna slide that forward. We'll get this out and get the new uh, key in there. All right, now, give you a look at the keys. This is how they fit, actually. You check them out. Not much of a difference, right? But, if you line these keyways up, there's that much of a difference right here. So that's where your lift comes from, and with it being torsion, you can adjust it however you want. Uh, just be careful when you do it because you turn those torsions up too high, it rides horribly rough, and you can break them. So, anyway, we're gonna get this new one in and then we'll button it up, put the wheels back on, see how it looks. I forgot to show you guys something. It's tough being underneath this sucker, so uh, no room to film this let me see if I can get you a little bit of a view so here we go right here let it focus there's the hex for the torsion bar and your key goes right in here of course and that hex I showed you that's different that made it lift that just slides right into it and then over here is where that set bolt goes so we'll tighten it back up we're just reversing how we took it out of course tighten it back up put the set bolt in through here which it sets that clamp sets right there up in here and then that's what tightens it and gets your ride height so I'm gonna go ahead and put that back together Hope you're stouter than I am when you do this. Man, this is rough. Come on, go to your home. You're too good for your home. Oh. Oh. And it's in there. So now you gotta run your adjustment bolt now ease off your tool let the torsion bar retainer take over Okay, and we're done. Time to put the wheels on and clean up.